It's a scientific mission that looks like a journey to the ends of the earth. This group of Senegalese and French researchers is making its way through the bush on a trail that is barely visible. Leading the pack, Christophe the adventurer and Paterne the PhD student in botany. They're traveling to Senegal's far east on the hunt for new plants that have never been discovered before. Today, they're looking for new types of ferns. These ferns apparently grow at a certain altitude, and some of them have never been seen in Senegal before. The ride continues past the final remote villages. And this is the final destination, an isolated waterfall that's never even been mapped. It is superb, hein, vrai? In these hidden spots, nature is still full of secrets. Each year, 2,000 new plant species are discovered around the world. These cliffs are really hard to get to, and so they're largely untouched. This means there's a good chance we might find species that are unknown in Senegal, and who knows, maybe make a new discovery. And there's only one way to go looking for these new species. Christophe and Théo will be the ones carrying out the harrowing task. Theo. A precipitous 70 meter drop. You're always scared to make a huge mistake, but then there's so much excitement. It's a good dose of adrenaline. Tied to this tree, Christophe heads down. As he progresses, he collects dozens of plants. That is the very purpose of botany, studying plants in their own environment. Obviously, I try not to pick the same one three different times. But I do take anything that looks new to me. It's relatively simple. It's also demanding and a little dangerous. But it's refreshing too. As water crashes onto his helmet, it's hard to make out each plant. So the botanist picks everything he sees as his colleague guides him from afar. The backpack is now full and Christophe dives into the water below. Meanwhile, Paterne has made a startling discovery. It is the dream of every botanist to be the first one to find a new species. It helps improve our knowledge of the planet's ecosystems and our ability to protect them. All of these will now be taken to a lab to be checked. In the meantime, Paterne is storing them in his herbarium. Ferns are very fragile, so we have to handle them with care. There's so much work to do. I can't wait to go on another trip and explore another area. This may be the 21st century, but there is still so much to learn. Scientists believe 10 to 20% of the world's plants are still unknown to us.